All right, afternoon session here in the Brisbane River. We've got a run out tide. I think it's about a 7.15 low. It's, uh, it's about three o'clock now, so fishing the last couple of hours of run out. Been some threadfin down here, so we'll have a quick look uh, around for some threadfin and obviously some dew. And uh, we've got probably 12 knots of east southeast, so not not too bad. There'll be plenty of protection down the front there from the docks and that sort of thing. So hopefully the fish are on uh, on the uh, eastern side and not the western side, or sorry, the southern side, not the northern side. And um, hopefully we can get a couple. So afternoon session, something a bit different. Let's um, see what we can find, eh? Going down to the first dock here, and we've uh, we found a few fish here. So there's some scattered threadfin salmon there, I'd say, by the looks of it. Um, both sides of the boat there. Uh, I have to run 455. Uh, looks like there's one in the boat there. 455 megahertz on a on a hummingbird down here. Um, I'm not sure exactly what is in the water, but something is in the water that um, makes it very hard to read on mega. Um, well, it does for me anyway, so uh, I have to put the the uh, standard to 455, which is a lower grade of uh, imaging, but um, still good enough to, to see these uh, thread fin on this muddy bottom. So just keep looking around, hopefully find a whole patch of them together and um, target that patch. So we will just keep cruising. Looks like there's... Uh, might be a few there together, I reckon. Might not be threadfin because they're not overly white, but um, something there and a bit of a patch. So I might have a quick cast of that and see how we go. Get out the old faithful trans -am. up against the wall there. in there first cast first hop 
hold up a joint. That's sick. Can't ask much more than that. in deep there, fork flex, one hop after I found a school and then we go. All right, probably close to 90 centimeters of dew there. So um, sorry about the noise from this uh, container ship behind me, but um, gonna let that one go. Had him out of the water for a second. I took my time bringing him up as well. So he should, he should swim off okay. Just give him a bit more of a swim. I'm guessing up around 90 centimetres, that fish, I reckon. Let's just see how he goes. Woo, off he goes. All right, yeah, sorry about the noise, but um, yeah, nice dew. I spotted uh, spotted quite a few on the scan. I uh, didn't take note of the number or anything like that. I just went, oh, it's about there. Spun around, spot locked. Cast in one hop with the, uh, one hop with the fork flex off the bottom. Hop, hop, hop. On the way down, whack in we go, 90 centimetre Dewey. Let's try and do that again. All right, I kind of got no idea, but I'm just gonna peg back up along there. The boat's sort of, not where I've seen them, but um, see how we go. Oh yeah, I got some fish coming through now. Beside the boat there. Don't know if you can see that, but that's definitely a dewy right there. All right, we should come down quite nicely on these two couple of fish here. noise I'll um, just explain what happened with that fish before so obviously just scan along the bank here and um, just check the along the pontoon pylons I should say and um, scanning along as I drive and, and seen a few fish just in a bit of a bunch so I um, already had the electric down so I had the side scan coming off the electric as well and just uh, spot locked up and sort of had a guess on where they're gonna be and fired a cast in there let it sink to the bottom three-quarter ounce jig head so you've seen this a few times, but uh, that three-quarter ounce um, wakasagi um, fork flex on a on a BKK 
jig head. Um, I've got 60 pound FC 100 litre and um, 50 pound cast sway on my Caden 745. Can't get away from the noise today, so I felt like I was yelling at the camera before, so I'll see how that comes out uh, audio wise. But um, yeah, casting, one hop, felt the bite, set the hook, and uh, got the fish in. So kept fishing in plastic without much luck, and then um, I obviously threw a soft vibe in there, a 110 Nomad with a bit of weight to get down. But um, yeah, no matter what I sort of threw, I couldn't get a bite, and the fish sort of just moved into little packs of one and two so yeah unfortunately they're sort of in between two ships there and uh you gotta gotta be uh stay out of the way a little bit there so unfortunately i didn't get any more fish so see how i go i'm gonna head back down uh towards the ramp now and see if there's any thread fin down there i had a had a scan down there earlier there's a couple of fish but not a lot um or I might do one more one more lap back and then come back down and then head over there and just check out a couple of spots on the way back. Um, winds uh, winds up. It's very easterly now. It's almost blowing down the down the river. It's almost an east northeast to be over that way. So definitely an easterly. Keep scanning, see if we how we go. But I'm happy with that just to get a fish. So that's not too bad of a session just to get a, a good sized jew, probably at 90. Uh, took my time bringing it up um, so it didn't expand its bladder too much and um, the fish released quite nicely so all right see uh, how we go for the rest of the session session done so just the one due for today uh, better than nothing but um, would be nice to see some thread fin come out and have play game but um, only a few scattered fish there today so I think the boys have been getting them pretty good the last uh, week and a half but um, certainly not today I didn't see too many schooled up and the, the wind obviously ruled a few places out over the other side of the river there it's just too windy with wind against tide so had to stick to the docks, but um, yeah, got that Jew, which was pretty good. Um, yeah, got that on that five inch fork flex, um, hopping up against the, the, the docks there, and you know, found the school pretty much first cast. Once I found them, one hop and uh, straight on. So, gotta be happy with that. So, just a quick one today, guys. All right, um, catch you next time. Cheers. <laughs>